Okay, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to take a look at uh, a common question that I see pop up quite a bit, and it has to do with uh, when you're dealing with geometry that doesn't just have a single edge um, all the way around the profile. So what I'm going to do here is rotate this part so that it's flat in the XY plane. And... Um, you know, kind of some of some of the things we should probably start off with is uh, utilizing our layers, where we can add a new layer, make a layer active, turn a layer on, turn a layer off, and this is always a useful tool when you are uh, creating geometry to be able to separate things out. But um, what I want to do is now that I have this new active layer here. I'll go to my utilities and extract edges and this allows us to generate wireframe uh, from the solid sometimes they call it convert entities with different uh, CAD packages for us it's extract edges and we're gonna choose single now when I do that I'm gonna pick a surface that I want to get the wireframe for I'll hit my spacebar and then I'll turn off uh, our top layer here and what we'll see is we have the wireframe for this profile but we don't have a, the wireframe for these ears here okay so uh, I'm gonna create another layer make it active uh, this time I'm gonna pick um, on these two faces here and and this is a, a very again like I said a very common question where you get uh, a model and there isn't one clear uh, profile if, where if we wanted to run the tool around the outside of this part there's not really one clear face uh, and it's not always apparent how to get a uh, silhouette profile for this part so now that I have uh, these two different levels of geometry uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a third la layer here I'm gonna just sketch a rectangle I'm going to create a surface for where that rectangle is. I'll change the color that I'm drawing with. And we have a tool called Project Curves to Surface. Uh, what this is going to allow me to do is to select um, my geometry that's at different levels and give me the ability to flatten it or project it flat on that uh, profile there and from here I can come in and trim up those areas and be able to chain select around the outside of this profile so now where originally I started out with this solid um, now you can see this yellow geometry represents uh, a profile that goes all the way around the part and you'll also notice that um, these edges here they're actually made up of full radiuses so it's not just a bunch of uh, interpolated segments again this is a, a very useful tool uh, to give you the ability to take uh, profiles that are either on different levels uh, or even sometimes uh, are compound curves or go up up and down in Z and give you the ability to uh, uh, flatten them making them uh, 2D profiles that you could use for uh, pocketing or engraving or profiling.